Good morning, Minecraft, and welcome to my weekly show where we talk about all things Minecraft. Check out the latest news around the community, spotlight some awesome YouTubers, and have as much fun as we can along the way. And here is our guest for today, Erosium. Hey Hello. guys. Hello, Erosium. How you doing? I'm all right, man. Good. It's great to have you on the show. Thanks. It's great to. It's a great pleasure to be on the show as well, Warm Wolf. And uh, thanks for building me an awesome flowery pinball machine. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it, it's no problem. I, um, I, I, I got to fix the paintings in this texture pack to actually make it look like a pinball machine, but it's pretty cool. Anytime you need a flowery pinball machine, you just call me up. I'll do that. <laughs> it lights S up too. So I hear you've, uh, on your channel, you've started a Tech It series. You want to tell me a little bit about uh, your, your series, your Let's Play? Yeah, well, the main aspect of it is when I was starting my Tech It, I was looking at other people's Tech It um, series, and I was, I was really enjoying them, but I also found they were taking out one of the main aspects of Minecraft, and, and that was to me... The looks. I, I love the way Minecraft looks and okay. um, the way it just feels when you walk around stuff. You can see the lovely, um, the lovely views and such. Uh, I kind of felt the tech was really based around efficiency and, and how you how good you can make something do something. Um, right. Like machines have an, an object or task. Um, well, I I kind of want to do in my series and have been doing my series is making stuff efficient but also making it look good and uh, i think that's a, a really important aspect to have in, in a minecraft series uh, minecraft tech it series okay so uh what have you built so far so far i've um the last I've time actually... i remember watching your series you were working on this massively huge chicken farm but that was that was a vanilla minecraft series so what do you got going on in your tech it Oh, my tech at the moment, I've just uh, built just a, a normal farm at the moment just to kind of get my, my stuff going. But I've also built this massive uh, lab. I, I built at first an underground uh, lab um, and storage room. I built a, quite a cool storage room if you guys want to go have a look at that. Um, and I built an above ground uh, storage slash tech at lab where I can use a windmill uh, farm to power mm -hmm. my machines and I've got a whole system set up of machines so far and um, they're obviously not the most advanced machines yet but that's because I'm trying to take it easy uh, in the series so that other people can follow along with what I'm doing I, I don't want to go too fast and um, too many too fast if that makes sense <laughs> well that is cool um, I've seen a few uh, tech it series here and there um, but I still don't understand the whole basis behind it can you explain what tech it is and the the whole fascination behind it i think the whole fascination of it is it's virtually minecraft but they've added so many different recipes that you can just do so much more in comparison to to what you could do in, in minecraft can they, you uh, elaborate like, on that sorry? like what what have they added to it systems uh, machines mainly i i find machines so uh, say what I used to do with my old Minecraft series was I would spend hours upon hours farming um, ores in my mines. Right. Whereas you can create in a tech a quarry, and that will take you a proportion of time, but then you you get the chance to watch as the ores just fly through your pipes and come into <laughs> your chests, and it, it's that kind of satisfaction um, satisfaction of just watching the the diamonds roll in. And um, and that satisfaction of having those extra features in the games, for example, having ores that you can farm in, in the, the nether, uh, which is really cool. Oh, wow. And then you what kind of like, ores can you farm in the nether? And they're all basically the same as the ones in the same world, um, in, in the normal world, but you kind of can get extras, if that makes any sense. And so say if you get nether coal, you can get two pieces of coal instead of one if you oh. uh, use it. Which is pretty cool, um, but it's a bit more dangerous to farm there, obviously. Right. Um, some of the really cool stuff I love is like the, the laser drill that you can shoot and it 
takes out 10 blocks ahead. Laser <laughs> drill. Like... <laughs> wow. And like the jetpack, you can... it's virtually like flying, but you have to work for it instead of like instead of creative, you obviously can just fly. Mm -hmm. um, but in tech, you have to work for it, get all the the items, so you, and materials to make that stuff and work your way up. So the, it's one of the the main thing about tech it is you can't just get in there and then make something major. You've got to kind of work through the basics and, and go all the way up. I, I kind of like that learning experience of it. It sounds like it's a, a complete game changer, though. I, well, it kind of is, but that's where I've tried to really change Tech It, in my opinion, of of how seri a, a Tech It series should be run. Okay. I, I'm trying to also keep Minecraft in Tech It um, and not make it too much of a game change for people. Uh, I want people to be able to watch my Tech It series who also don't play Tech It. Um, I, who play Minecraft instead. Um, I, I kind of want to make Tech It not just about the machines and, and all the cool stuff that you can do in Tech It, but also about all the cool stuff that you can generally do in the normal Minecraft as well. Like, you know, hmm. a good good old uh, cave, cave exploration. Right. Like mobs. <laughs> uh, for, uh, for caving, do you have... Is there uh, new things that will make uh, caving more interesting? Uh, uh, weapons, armors, uh, potions, I anything like that. Is there a, is there a bunch of that? There's yeah, there's plenty of stuff like that that makes. I haven't looked into it all yet, but as I say, I, I learn so much every day. I mean, yesterday it was a matter of um, learning about the. the I, I was watching videos to to learn how to make certain machines, and all those videos I found out were outdated and. I had to learn a whole new system of wires and how they worked, and it okay. confused the hell out of me for for about thirty <laughs> minutes. I just sat there staring at my PC like, what? Just confused. And I mean, mining drills, for example, or chainsaws. <laughs> you can have chainsaws, and uh, you go cave exploring with those. It's it's pretty intense. Cool. Uh, have you have you had any experience with any of the the monsters that I've seen in? The, the tech it. I believe they come from Mo Creatures. Do you have that turned on while you're playing? Um, I haven't got that turned on at, at the moment. Um, I plan to kind of get into that once I, I've got a few more things in there. The old tech it uh, made and such. I, I kind of want to work into it. Um, I was really looking forward at one point to using the, the forestry uh, mod. What is that? But, uh, the forestry mod, it, it was kind of a mod that worked like tech it. It gave you machines mm -hmm. and it allows you to make farms, for example, like tree farms or or wheat you farms. Broke to make my bread. cactus. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I I realized afterwards. Um, um and... I've seen I've seen one where it's I don't know which mod this is from, but somebody punched a tree and the entire tree fell down. Oh, oh yeah. Um, I, I've seen that mod. Uh, I, it's it's a pretty cool uh, mod. I just I don't. I find Minecraft and Tekkit and all these games. I kind of like to get satisfaction out of everything I do on the game. Right. So like you know just punching a tree down um, casually or or cutting it down with a chainsaw. I kind of get the satisfaction <laughs> of uh, of, um, of making that chainsaw and and. Um, well, how do you make the chainsaw? What's it take to make a chainsaw? Uh, to, to explain that, it, it's kind of a, a long stream of, of items, really, you've got to create. Uh, okay. it, it's pretty, as I say, Tech It is one, one of these games you can't jump, jump in there and just create um, All right. machines well, like that. Well, kind of okay, can you, can you uh, summarize how to get started with Tech It? You know, some of the first things that you need to, to build to get your machines going. Some of the first things I would suggest building are uh, the generator. You need a generator to produce power so you can get your machines powered. Okay. And to do to do that, you need copper wires. And that means you have to go to uh, swamp biomes and find, well, the most common place to find uh, a rubber tree. Uh, okay. The, a new tree. I think I saw you mining your, or you're your tapping the, the rubber tree. Um, where do you find copper? And you find copper. It's just, it's like 
searching for iron. Okay. Um, so it's just a natural ore. Um, sorry, yeah, it's just like searching for iron or coal, except for there's loads more uh, mi minerals to get, really. Cool. Uh, which is, they're all used for several different things. I mean, I still haven't discovered a, a couple of uses for some of the mi minerals uh, in Tekkit, but I've, <laughs> I've been mining them away anyway, just thinking, oh, these are going to be helpful for the future. <laughs> <laughs> oh, um, And some of the really cool stuff about Tekkit is uh, you've actually got to be careful with what you do because uh, machines, if they aren't uh, upkept right, Right. They can actually blow up. Oh wow! So, so you kind of got a creeper keep... potential. Yes, it's like a creeper, but you're creating your own creeper. <laughs> <laughs> I've never had that satisfaction of throwing diamonds into a cactus. Oh wow! It feels like I shouldn't do this. Your first time in creative, huh? <laughs> um, kind of, but uh, I've I've used creative for. Uh, testing stuff out but never to just you know troll my <laughs> diamonds <laughs> that is kind of disturbing when you think about it yeah i mean you know what it's like when you've got like 10 diamonds from a, a really long mining trip and you fall in lava it's right. just like <laughs> <laughs> so do you have a do you have a plan where you're uh gonna take your your are you gonna build a city what what are you planning on taking your world where are you going with it Dude, this, did i make sense to... with that question <laughs> yeah no you, you definitely made sense okay uh, i i got um, confused asking it <laughs> <laughs> oh basically i would like to build a kind of city um, okay. that is both very efficient but also very cool and i kind of want to take it um i've got a big ocean uh you might notice that occasional I haven't really pointed it out very much in my videos. Okay. I've got a massive ocean next to me, and I want to create a city on top of it. Um, I'm starting it on the edges of the lands at the moment, just uh, on a volcano, because there's a volcano in it. Um, and I want to kind of create a, a water city that starts on top of it and goes higher and higher, and then goes dips down, you have to jump down. It's going to be pretty crazy, because, I mean, <laughs> uh, you can... You can have uh, railway systems, crazy railway systems. I haven't looked into it yet, but I can't wait to do that. I mean, wow. Tech It is just a massive, massive series. Just I can't believe how how much how far this series is going to take me. Really, it, it sounds very very interesting. Oh, it's um, a challenge. <laughs> do you do you have your your city already drawn? Do you draw it out when you make a plan? Because me, I don't. I just. I get these pictures in my head. I don't actually draw anything down, but I try to build it. I try to use Minecraft itself as a as a design tool, if you know what I mean. It's it's I, it's my it's my own computer aided design. <laughs> I would say I I'm similar, very similar in in that aspect of most things I, I do is to um, is done in my head and then I use Minecraft as just a testing stuff out seeing if stuff works and such like that but there is occasional things like for example on my old series when I get a really um, difficult farm to create I will draw out some of the designs and scrap bits some that I don't like some that I do like and, uh, for example my 400 subscriber special I, I did this massive wheat farm oh and okay it was really confusing <laughs> waterways so i kind of wow. drew them out because I, I had to see them like like that i i couldn't it wasn't enough to just see it in my mind kind of thing does <laughs> tech it does tech it provide any uh automated ways for planting wheat because that's one yeah. thing that i really really um want in a wheat farm is um current vanilla minecraft automated wheat farms still require you to it, you broke it again you're ruining my cactus. No. <laughs> what I was trying to say was, the uh, the current automated wheat farms still require you to go back and uh, replant. Yeah, and I've seen a few designs that I want to create actually in the future. I've got a big farm at the moment, but there is one where it actually plants your seeds, and um, 
feeds them up to uh, full potential and then harvests them. So it's like just constant. And you get to see, again, you get to see the satisfaction of the um, of the wheat flowing through the, the tubes in your face. <laughs> you just sit there and let, let all these hundreds of tubes just come in. And they all come from different areas, different directions, bringing water, oil, trees, wow. wood, um, <laughs> food, everything you need. Chickens, you can bring chicken, like... Food. It's, it's amazing chicken feed huh uh not chicken feed chicken uh food like you know chicken what do you eat raw chicken oh yes wow raw chicken i would love to make a uh, i really want to design a couple of my own ideas that um haven't been done before as well for, okay like, chicken farms and wool farms and stuff can you can you talk about those kind of give I, us an I, example i would love to create a, t a kind of tech it related animal farm that does all all of the animals like it sorts everything all of them out and gets all the animals and has separate tubes and um, with I, I really don't want to kill animals but certain <laughs> animals like cows uh, mr moobles i call them uh, <laughs> that's <have> cool <laughs> oh yeah the, the name was uh, derived from uh, when i actually saw a uh, sheep uh, knock Mr. Moobles a cow off the edge and I had to create a gravestone in my first series I ever did <laughs> uh, for the cow. Oh I, no. I actually saw the funniest thing uh, yesterday when in one of my episodes uh, I, I couldn't record unfortunately the recording wasn't working uh -oh. but I was running over the hill and I saw a sheep uh, on some ice in, in the water and I saw a wolf on some ice on the edge of the water and there was, there was water between them and they were just staring at each other <laughs> and I looked and I was like oh that wolf really wants to kill that sheep <laughs> they, would, they wouldn't move neither would move there was just like a silent standoff so I just walked up watched it a little bit and then after like two minutes oh wow um, the sheep moved a little bit and the, the wolf went to jump for it and it actually landed in the water, went under the ice, and then just tried to swim around under the ice and actually died. Oh, no. Like, the poor the wolf. actually killed a wolf. That's amazing. That's awesome. <laughs> Go sheep. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man, I would lo love to see that. Oh, uh, I was crying for ages of la out of laughter. It was amazing. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, it was a good. Yeah, it was a very, very uh, amusing sight. I I tried to record. I was like tapping record like crazy. I was like, please work. <laughs> and it didn't work. No, it was oh, unfortunate. Man. So yeah, I mean, uh, I've always found your channel to be really, I mean, a lot of fun to watch. It's, it's a you got a great personality. Um, I love mostly you have these these comedy voices. You like. One of my favorites was you sounded like an old man, and old you were you were building something, and you were talking in this old man voice, and I thought it was just hilarious. <laughs> so, uh, speaking of your channel, what what got you started in uh, recording Minecraft and uploading it to YouTube? Um, well, a long time ago, I actually recorded World of Warcraft. Oh, and I. I was a big into PvP, player versus player, yep. and one day my friend uh, actually showed me his ch uh, showed me this game, Minecraft. And at first I was like, "Oh, that that's poor <laughs> graphics. I don't like that." No. <laughs> well, the graphics aren't really poor. It's just they're they're I know it was, they're it was done deliberately. Not want to play. Yeah, <laughs> and. Um, he said, come on, stop being uh, narrow-minded and ignorant. And I, was, I came over and I, I had a go at it. And I went home that night and I bought the game and didn't mm. sleep for 24 hours because I played it constantly. <laughs> That's, I loved it. I was the same way with Warcraft. I was, I was working and playing Warcraft and I was not sleeping. Um, I actually had to join a group called uh, uh, WAA, okay. Warcraft Anonymous or something. Oh wow! Yeah, I, I've been, I've been, uh, I haven't played Warcraft in four years now. Oh, wow. Hi, my name is One Wolf. I haven't played Warcraft in four years. Oh, it's been two years for me, I think. Okay. Um, 
And basically, I, I played this Minecraft game, and I was like, goodbye, Widow Warcraft. <laughs> Hello, Minecraft. <laughs> Hello, Minecraft! Exactly. Oh, your, your little... Hello, Minecraft. <laughs> So uh, other yeah. other than LPs, do you have any other series that you record? Not yet, but I have been wanting to do collaborations with people for a while now. And cool. there is a couple of people that I plan to do uh, some collaborations with. Uh, for example, uh, a duel come on Pokemon. <laughs> oh, cool. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> that sounds like fun. There's a YouTube uh uh, channel out there called Super Dream Gate that I talk to her a lot. She's a, a funny person, uh, <laughs> uh, and she wanted to do a, a Pokemon series, and I was like, "Yeah, let's do it. I love Pokemon." <laughs> Sounds <laughs> I great. It. <laughs> no, I haven't. And, I haven't looked into Pokemon since the TV show first came out. I think I watched the first season, and that that was about it. Uh, I I was similar. I, it, it was kind of. I just wasn't. I I loved it. I just loved playing the games like on like the DS and that. They were my childhood. <laughs> <laughs> cool. So this has been uh, One Wolf talking with Erosium, <laughs> who's got a really awesome Tekkit channel. I suggest you guys go check it out. There will be links in the description and annotations at the top of the screen. So click, 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 and we'll can see just, you next time. Yeah, go ahead. Can I just say, One Wolf, thanks very much for having me, and you are a lovely guy to talk to. You're very funny, and you've got an amazing personality, mate. <laughs> Thank you very much. So this is One Wolf saying have a good day, over and out, bye-bye. <laughs> thanks very much for watching, guys. This is Erosium out. Bye-bye. So you're you're trying to make me a vending or a, a pinball machine? Yep. It's a uh, pink and green pinball machine <laughs> with a farmer on the screen. Oh wow. Oh. Yeah, we decided to change that one. Oh. Yeah, I like that double. It looked well, kind of. Oh yeah. Okay. Thank you. Got that then. And place one of these buttons there. One of these buttons there, there, and there. Okay. Beautiful, and then the tracks on top kind of make the game. Now, obviously, it requires a little bit of imagination. <laughs> Certainly. Oh wow, I like those paintings better. Can you put that painting on the front? This one that you have on the sides. No, that's a flower pot. Yeah, you're just gonna keep clicking through them until they. There you go. For a pinball game, that looks much better. <laughs> it looks lovely. <laughs> I used to have one of these. Oh, good. Nice. I gotta make me one of these. In, my, in mine. I love little little uh, convent uh, inventions like this. They just look really cool in Minecraft worlds. It's kind of like totally not needed, but a really nice spice to your uh, households and stuff. Interesting piece of furniture. Very cool clicks as well. <laughs> <laughs>